What do you use pipsqueak for? Mostly for tea. I like to make tea in the morning uh, when I start work. I like to have a cup of tea. Uh, I like black tea, which is what uh, this little kettle really excels at because black tea is best brewed at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And this tea kettle was designed to create water 212 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as the water begins to boil, it begins to whistle, so I'm almost done. Goodness, you are knowledgeable. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use um, Pipsqueak for anything else? Any food items? Yes, uh, I like the cup of soup. And the Yum. Pipsqueak uh, makes water again at 212 degrees, which is the required temperature for cooking the ramen in the amount of time specified in the directions on the package. So when I pour the boiling water into the package, cover it up for five minutes, uncover it, and the ramen is perfectly done every time. Excellent. Would you say that Pipsqueak is your water heating preference? Why or why not? Absolutely. My, my, uh, I don't like using the microwave for trying to boil water. The microwave does not work very well for tea, uh, simply because there's no mechanism to know when the it's easy to undercook or overcook the water in the microwave, either of which will make a pretty lousy cup of tea. Uh, getting the water at the right temperature is really crucial to a decent tasting cup of tea. I'm sure there's a lot of folks over in Great Britain that would agree with that. <laughs> Perfect. Um, are you okay with the whistling when someone other than you is utilizing Pipsqueak? Not usually. <laughs> if I'm not utilizing Pipsqueak, <laughs> you know, as the mother of Pipsqueak, I actually have to agree with you. That is his one fault. He can be rather annoying sometimes. He's very loud. Yes, he's very, very loud. You will see him in action later on in the video. Um, do you feel that Pipsqueak is safe? I do feel that Pipsqueak is safe. Pipsqueak comes with a built-in relief valve <laughs> that will whistle every time that the water is boiling. That's, that's exactly how the tea kettle is designed. So it not only makes sure that the water cooks to a perfect uh, 212 degrees, it makes sure that no steam can be built up into the kettle and cause an explosion because the relief valve is part of the design. Now, I do, I do have to say that um, we use pipsqueak on the electric stove. And once pipsqueak starts whistling when we pour the water out, we have to replace her onto a different burner so she won't continue to whistle and drive everybody crazy. <laughs> now when we do that, we actually leave the burner, the hot burner, that Pipsqueak was on, exposed. And so it can be a danger if somebody comes in the kitchen afterwards not realizing the burner's hot and they put their hand on it. So in that respect, uh, there, there's some danger there. Mm -hmm. Probably we could alleviate that maybe in the future by going with an electric kettle, which like Pipsqueak is designed to cook water to 212 degrees, however, it does not have the relief valve whistling mechanism. Mm -hmm. And to go along with that, nor is it as adorable as Pipsqueak is, because goodness, so cute. Yeah, I have to say that the, the electric kettles do look rather odd and rather yes. technology uh, centric, whereas uh, Pipsqueak, it looks, looks very old fashioned. Reminds me, excuse me, of the old fashioned tea kettles. It looks a lot like the one that my mother used and my grandmother used many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. Nostalgia. It has not changed much at all. Of course, I will say that this particular model has the, the lifting mechanism built right into the handle. It's very comfortable, very easy. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun. It's just fun. <laughs> well, thank you so much for interviewing with me, Papa, and thank you, Pipsqueak. You just heard from Papa Bear. This is Mama Bear. She is another user of Pipsqueak. Hi, Mama Bear. How's it Hi. going? I'm fine. How are you? Doing great. How are you? Um, <laughs> um, so, Pipsqueak. How do you feel about our dear friend Pipsqueak? 
Well, I've always enjoyed living in the house with Pipsqueak. I haven't used Pipsqueak to be totally honest. <laughs> However, I've, I've heard him. Yes. Her, um, on many occasions. And the endearing thing to me that I find is that it really reminds me a lot of my childhood. Mm -hmm. My parents had the same tea kettle all the time. And um, just hearing that sound going off is kind of warms my heart and um, warms my palate knowing that <laughs> um, I'll be receiving hopefully <laughs> That's what it's all about, warming your heart, warming your palate, and warming your cup of tea. <laughs> Perfect, Mama. Thank you so much. Thank you. So now that we've heard from Mama Bear and Papa Bear, let's hear from Pipsqueak. And there she blows. Thank you for your dazzling input. Filming and pouring tea simultaneously is incredibly dangerous, by the way. Do not try this at home. <laughs> 